you are welcome to this third hack, which is using WhatsApp autoresponder to reply to some messages for you so that it will save your time. You'll be able to have time for other things. Otherwise, if you are to respond to all the messages, you may not have time for other things. You are going to get this app called WhatsApp Autoresponder. You can see it here on your phone. It could be your Android or iPhone. So, but I recommend you get a pro version. If I can have a good number of you that are interested in the pro version, then we'll come together and buy the pro version and use the same email address to log in. So if you are interested in the pro version, let me know in our WhatsApp group. Indicates, send me a message on WhatsApp that you are interested. If I can get a good number, then we'll get a pro version. All right, let me open that WhatsApp autoresponder now and you will see how it looks like. These are my rule that I have already set. So if you want to set your own, you click on this plus icon here. And here you go. So what you are going to type here is what you want them to send to you the message you want them to send to you that is what you type here and you can instruct them to send you messages like let's say you want them to send you a message like rent you the message you want them to send to you is rent okay you there's a way you structure the message and you tell him tell them that if you have done this, you have done that, send me this word on WhatsApp, rent, okay? Then what you want to reply to them, let's say you want to reply the price to them, and you can type the, the message you want to reply to them, like, let's say you want to send them the price, or let's assume what you want them to send to you, for you to reply to them is price okay you want them to send price to you then you will reply this message to them without the, you even typing it the whatsapp autoresponder will reply to them so you can type the price to them let's say you type 500,000 naira 500,000 Naira Pa Okay, so this is it Okay, so set a delay of something like 5 seconds or 8 seconds so that it will look as if you are the one typing it because people don't like ai to reply to them people enjoy it when they are chatting with you so this eight second delay will look as if you are the one that is typing the message and for here you are going to set it to individual because if you set it to both groups and individual there are some groups you are in for example, you are in your church group or in your choir group. If you don't set it to individual, by the time somebody send a message to your group, to the group you are in, let's assume your choir group, somebody sent rent to that group, this autoresponder will reply to him. And most of the time it will be absurd. It will not be relevant to the group purpose. So because of that, always set it to individual. All right. And these are the most important thing you can set. 
and here when you have the price you can indicate other things like that some things that are related to price and separate them with comma let's say how much okay separate it with comma amount these are all words that are related to price and guess get as much as many of them as possible you know as they are contacting you from time to time you get to know the kind of phrase they are using to request for price okay and once you are done you are going to save it you click on that check mark to save it now for you to test whether it is working go to this icon go to this icon and tap on it then set that particular word or phrase and see whether it will reply let's say i type price and send it you see it will delay like eight second and it should reply let's wait you can see it has replied so this is how it is going to be replied to them you look based on your conversation with them there are some messages from your contact that come almost all the time so get those kind of messages into this autoresponder so that it will save your time, all right? So that is how you can set your autoresponder. And this will work well when you are using a pro version. And if your WhatsApp autoresponder is not working, let's assume it's not working, you are going to go to this three dot here. click on it and click doesn't work then click on settings click on settings on autoresponder for whatsapp turn this one on then turn it on again turn it off then turn it on again click allow and you can now go back from now henceforth it will start working so this is a rough overview on how you can set your whatsapp autoresponder in the next video we'll look at how you can save their number and how you can ask them to save your number let's go to that video now